Uh, what is going on? Jason here. So I just finished my workout today was Body Beast back and by, and I'm going to admit I just did a video before this one, turn around my phone, and, and it apparently had stopped recording uh, partway through. So I almost just like, was like, okay, screw this, I'll do it later. But I got to do it now because now is the moment of inspiration. And now is, I also wanted to share, just did my workout today, but what I wanted to talk to you about is actually what happened yesterday, and that was no workout. I'm going to tell you why. Uh, I feel like, and for a while yesterday I was kind of trying to think of a way I could kind of push through it, but I really got thinking about it, like, you know what, I have been showing up and I've earned the ability to take a rest day, take an unscheduled recovery day. And these are times that sometimes you might need to do in your own journey because uh, it's, it's inevitable if you're going to be doing fitness, if you're going to be living and just being organic, you're going to have over time things are going to happen, you have injuries, you're going to get sick, stuff like that. For me, I don't know what I did, it wasn't an instantaneous thing, it wasn't some spontaneous injury, but somehow I, I sprained, I jacked up my right knee, I don't even know. But yesterday was very, I can feel the pressure, it's swollen, it's kind of a, uh, around my meniscus. So yesterday, however, was body beast bulk legs. Uh, I decided, I, I made the executive decision that it would be infinitely more beneficial for me to take the day and not do anything on my knees and to rest and recover. Now, I was going to go do some extracurricular activity, go swimming or go do something light impact. That didn't happen. However, I took the day, but the cool thing is because of my consistency and my discipline in 2015, I don't have to feel bad about it. At first, yesterday, I was kind of, my ego was beating myself up. I have such a good schedule right now. I'm, I'm killing it. And I, I almost felt like, okay, I'm going to let myself down. And then as I really got thinking about it, I set the ego aside. And just as Tony Morton would say, it was one of those things. I could have pushed through yesterday. Uh, it wouldn't have been painful for one. But two, I could have caused more severe injury. Because, I mean, that beast, both legs, is not exactly an easy uh, workout. And it puts a lot of pressure on your knees. In all the, you know your lower body because you're doing lunges and you're holding weights and stuff and uh, with all the pressure and fluid in there I just decided screw that uh, I'm just gonna find a way around it I'm gonna work the obstacle and, and um, just kind of get back at it it's not gonna kill me and that's exactly what I did I took the day off so today I showed right back up it feels uh, I can still feel it today it's still swollen still uh, kind of sprained I get a compression thing and just kind of work on icing it and kind of go through a whole recovery series of that. But the rest of the week is all upper body stuff anyways, and I'm going to go do some swimming and some different low impact things to kind of help it rest and recover. And uh, hopefully I can get right back at it next week. It's very important to listen to your body. Okay, very important because pushing through an injury, some injuries you can work around, you can push through. Some injuries you have to chill and you have to let your body do its thing to rest and recover. But your body is able to repair itself. However, during the time when it's out, you can't really have to be easy on it. You have to give it the ability to recover, eat, sleep, rest, recover. Important stuff. Luckily for me, I'm gonna work around the knee. It's all lower body, which is cool, just to my right leg, right knee. So I can work everything else. I can figure out ways to work around this and hopefully be good for next week. So that's my, my message really as we come into fall. Today is on the farmer, Farmer's Almanac. This is the first day of fall. This is the time of year when things start to get colder, the days start to get shorter, you begin to feel a lot more, especially to my friends up north, uh, from Maine 24 years, so the shorter days, you begin to feel lethargic, depressed, cabin fever, all those things. I understand. And it's one of those things, this is the time of the year I want to tell you more than anything, this is the most important time of the year for your fitness goals. This is when you show up and you get in and you get it done. Because this is the time when you're going to have the body already for next year when you get to summer instead of worrying about New Year's Eve and some stupid excuse for starting your goals that you make every year, that we make every year, that we all do as society. Listen, there's a birthday every year. Every one of your friends has a birthday. There's uh, New Year's every year. There's Christmas every year. Thanksgiving every year. You know, all this stuff is always going to be there. So you can either use it as an excuse to get messed up, skip things to not do your goals, or you can still enjoy those things but realize that your fitness and health goals are way beyond that stuff. It's discipline you do every day. 